Rio, but you want to you want to fly in the sky. That's different. Well, how is that different? You're not at a 40, 40 degree angle. Now are you? <laughs> now is he, TJ? <laughs> Rio's a little scared to be up here. We are in Long Beach, California at my favorite airport, about to take a trip. Are you ready to go, Rio? Nah, I don't know. He's been struggling. I'm just ready but... for that Boeing 737 Max 9. No, I think it's a Max 8. So, Jojo, we are in Long Beach, about to check on to our flight. Are you excited to go to Seattle for the yes. very first time? Definitely. Why did you want to go to Seattle? Because this is a lot, a lot of the reason why we're going to Seattle is because of you. It's mainly because of the rain and especially in winter now it's snow. So that's even better. And I love how is it isn't it green? Like very it's very green. green. I just don't know if it's gonna be green because it's like 18, 20 degrees, which is cold. Especially for us Southern California kids. We'll see. It's gonna be freezing, but we'll deal with it. Are you vlogging? Yes, because I don't have my phone. I actually have your phone in my pocket. Oh, can I have it, please? Yep. Did we already go to, through the passport thing? Because look, I have a little passport. A little pass, like a literal passport. Off to Seattle, Washington. From yes, my favorite airport in the world, Long Beach Airport. It's just too simple to not love. This was a memorable flight. Not only did Rio get to see the captain and learn more about planes, but Dee Dee's friend Jackson, this was his very first flight he had ever taken. While Rio, who's an experienced traveler at this point, was re-simulating the flight on his iPad while recording the flight from his iPod, the older kids, they were experiencing a variety of emotions. <laughs> this is cold. It's cold. It's cold. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> it's freezing. I don't have gloves. Can I have gloves? No, but I'll get you some. All right, we just landed in in Seattle, and it is freezing. I'm getting lessons soon. I just told him he can get flying lessons. The service he can, as long as he's a good kid and behaves and keeps studying. When you were one years old. You, Auntie Latoya would come over and you would see her and you would just go like, you would be standing and looking at her gear. Her and she was always had like yeah. nice shoes on and her done from head to toe. And, and Auntie Latoya went, look at her. She's, she's going to love clothes. Look at how she's looking at my shoes. I mean, she really? would eye her like for just the whole time. You just admire her. <laughs> Bro, I, was, I would still do it. Right here. <laughs> Auntie Latoya, I love you so much. Thank you for giving my kids a memory they can always smile about. Now it's time to shop for warm clothes. First stop, Nordstrom Rack. Did you know Nordstrom was founded here in Seattle? So was Amazon, Starbucks, Microsoft, Boeing, and that warehouse chain I love, Costco. So can we go to Robot vs. Sloth? <laughs> Sounds like a funny store. Let's go. It smells good in here. I like this. The, the sloth? I also, no, the, the octopus. What do you want, Rio? Uh, this. Oh, that is neat. Should I get it, Mom? I don't know. Is that the one thing you're going to want to get in Seattle? You get, you get to pick one thing in the whole trip. Do you think there will be any, like, airplane stuff or what? I don't think so. I think at the flight museum, yes, but you can ask Dad. Check. Did you check the price on it? Yeah. Oh, they have a book series? Yeah. Cool. One day three. Yeah. Oh, that's the one Mom got for you, huh? <laughs> no. All right. Yep. Let's see it. Show this robot slapper a palm. And that's a great tactic. It is, right? <laughs> to me, this public market is the most 
famous or iconic part of Seattle. Space Needle or this, but I don't know, something about this sign and, and the public market, even though I don't eat any of the fish, it's just very, very symbolic to me, to Seattle. <laughs> The best one sent me a kick. I got something. <laughs> I got a bag of bags when you get a chance. Try it out, He may be the pickiest you guys eater. You want to try some? Get up here. No? You want to try some, bud? It's free, expensive shit. Take it. <laughs> there you go, bud. Try that out. It's all good. Three days up. Kid, do you like it? Yeah, I love this public market. Even though I don't like the smell and I don't like fish, the energy is right. This energy is fun. Pike Place Market. Don't come to Seattle without visiting. Again, it's not the food for me. It's the vibe. There's just an energy there that is, that just makes you smile. And there's just so much art, a variety of art, things you can buy that you really can't buy anywhere else. Even though I don't care for the food, yeah, I don't like me some seafood, the place is something I will always come to visit. And so you know, it is free. And it's open 363 days of the year, only closed on Thanksgiving and Christmas Day. This was cool. These birds just flocked to people. This wasn't a train or anything. This was just a random guy who wasn't scared. I have to give it up to Seattle. There was so much to see, so many places to go to, and the people, they're just really nice. We got nothing but love for the Emerald City. All right, so we are near the pier where our cruise takes off from. It is cold, um, but we are here. Can't change the date on the trip. You can, but that's, that's cheating. So we are toughing it out. It's good for us to, to get used to doing things in temperatures that we're not used to. What you got there, Rio? Hot chocolate. Is it good? Mm -hmm. it, does it warm you up, bud? So we are walking along Seattle to get to the Space Needle. It's a 30 minute walk and we're freezing. Francis is saying I need to walk faster. She's a wussy guy. She's saying I'm walking too Come slow. On. I'm what trying. else did I say? You forgot I used to do this at 4.15 a.m. when it was 26 degrees outside. That was when our You're bones forgetting. were stronger no. and our muscles were more there. Strong. And our skin was stronger. Oh. Like I'm not saying school, babe. We are walking and freezing. Y'all no, say, y'all say Listen that you guy. go to school like you cross the whole ocean, it's the truth. go to France, climb the Eiffel Tower, <laughs> jump off. Who said the Eiffel Tower? Ride, I am. Fight off lion, hey. sea lions, and then go to school. <laughs> Talking about sea lions, <laughs> now, school, you think and Eiffel Tower. Now being dramatic <laughs> over here. Do you think I, anybody's gonna believe I'm that? I'm talking about when I used to wake up at 4.15 a.m. and do a boot camp for eight years, okay? That's what I'm talking about, okay? And that's no exaggeration. You can ask my ladies. They used to get up and we used to get out there and we got work done. Shoot, we didn't complain. Sure. We got work done. Sure. We finally made it after 26, 27 minutes or so. We are finally approaching the Space Needle. This is very, very cool. Very tall. They're gonna get mad. So you were in charge of getting us here. How did you do? Great, my phone just died. Your phone died? Your ticket's on your phone. That's not it. It just turned on. 
it's at five percent. That's her phone? Yeah. Oh, oh you're charging it good. Actually, I think it died on purpose to be like, all right, charge it now. Yeah, I do that. To be the centerpiece for the World's Fair that year, the theme of the fair was the Age of Space Age. It was also where NASA had their first public open house. Real, but you want to you want to fly in the sky. That's different. Well, how is that different? You're not at a 40, 40 degree angle. Now are you? <laughs> now is he, TJ? <laughs> Rio's a little scared to be up here, uh, but. Uh, so what I'm trying to explain to him, this has been around since 1962, and there hasn't been an issue that I know of. So we're going to be just fine up here, Rio. That's so cool. Do something, Rio. Raise your arm or something. Say hi. Scoot towards the middle more, bud. Did you like it, Rio? Yeah. Dad, we should do a rotation video. We set it up right here. Can I see your phone, Mom? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Watch out behind you. Sorry. The okay. interior of the building stays still. This is the separation point right here where your toes are. So from here to the wall moves, the windows stay in place. The platform itself is the only thing moving. So each I-beam's got two sets of rollers on there. Uh, first one's right there with some super low friction bearings. There's a matching set just under here. So the platform is the only thing moving, going across at 1.1 miles an hour. Powered by those super powerful 1.5 horsepower motors right there. So if you stayed right here, you'd be right back here in 31 minutes, my friends. Wow. Okay, debate settled. So that's moving over there. Yes, just the platform here. The walls stay in place. The windows stay in place. Just the platform rotates. Thank you for that info. That helps welcome. because we were confused. Right on. Actually, only Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so we are leaving the Space Needle, and it was a really good time. It's a beautiful monument here in Seattle, and uh, something I think if you're going to come to Seattle, you have to go see. Kind of resembles a bit of the San Antonio Space Needle, of course, and the Dallas, and uh, it's just a sweet monument of some history built for the 1962 World Fair here in Seattle, Washington. You okay? Are you going to make it? It's cold. We're, We're good. A lot of miles. TJ's turning into a little wussy. We did walk a lot. <laughs>